it's always like I love when people comment on that and it's so sweet it's always other women other women like hey wait that's a one woman show I love uh, you're doing it I'm gonna punch it in this is a very wide shot come a little closer okay so like I just want to get down to the base. where are you from in Canada first I of all I'm from Vancouver okay yeah and tell me about when you first came to the US was it to pursue an acting job or like just to chase that dream like tell me about the process of leaving Canada for the United States well I I mean I think the first time I came to the US it was go to, to go to Disneyland but really? in Anaheim Seven. Yeah, I was like seven years old. But, but to come here and live was yeah to be to be an actor for sure. Do you feel like your conception of what you know Los Angeles and Hollywood was it what you thought it would be or completely different? No, you know what it was. It was exactly what I thought it was going to be because it was actually very magical at the time because when you come down, I would come down for pilot season. So you come down and suddenly it's like, oh, I'm going to a party in the hills. Oh, I'm this, oh, I'm that. What a magical life. And it's really fun and shiny in the beginning. And then as soon as you decide to move, as soon as you're like, I have to go buy cotton balls at the Rite Aid, it's not as shiny. <laughs> Also, because pilot season's always around award season, so there's parties and galas and yeah. pre-parties and all that. But it's still, I do think that there is something magical about this place, and as long as you don't lose sight of that, because being an actor is a bit of a grind, but as long as you don't lose sight of that, that little bit of magic that's always there, Where it's Where was the, the first place you lived in L.A.? I lived in West... Hollywood. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Central for auditions. Uh, the first place I stayed was the Highland Gardens, oh. which is not, it's, it's not, not so called fancy. the Highland Gardens anymore, but it's historical. There's a lot of Canadian actors who, when they first come down, that's where they stayed. Ryan Reynolds was there, and it, like, it's just, it's now, history. do Canadians kind of like in the industry, do they flock together, support each other? Is there a really big like subculture of Canadian actors that hang out all the time? Yep. Yep. Pretty who are much. some of those people for you? Pretty much all my friends are Canadian actors. <laughs> really? I love that. Yeah, Missy Peregrim over there. And uh, it's just, it's it's funny. I mean, I guess if you grow up in the industry like I did, you yeah. those are the people that you socialize with and become friends with. And if you all have similar goals, you all end up in the same spot. So the next thing you know, you're going to each other's places for pasta, not pasta. Pasta. Is it a certain type of pasta? No, Canadians call it pasta and Americans call it pasta. All I know is I love poutine. <laughs> so do I. So I would love to hear from you. What was it finally like? You mentioned pilot season. I mean, to finally get a show that's so big and so loved, especially something like ABC, what was that like? You know, it's funny because it was... Uh, it's a Canadian show, Rookie Blue, and um, but it was it was acquired during the writer strike in the U.S., so there there was no content. So um, I but I auditioned here in L.A. and I think Missy auditioned in L.A. and I believe Travis in L.A. and Greg in L.A. All of us kind of came from here and then went home to work, and and then we nobody could have predicted what it did. So it was it was a blessing for all of us. Okay, and um, I would also just love to know if you can name three things that you love most about Canada, whether it's food or places to visit, like where people that are going to go or don't know, what are your three favorite things about your, your culture growing up in Canada? Oh, well, I love the city that I grew up in, Vancouver. I, I was just there. I just got home two days ago from, from there, and it's gorgeous. I, I've forgotten how beautiful it was because I've been there in the winter mostly, so I went in the summer this time, and the mountains, the water, it's just a stunning place to live. And then, of course, just friends and family. Okay, anything else that we should look out for coming up? Uh, not right now. I'm doing a little bit of writing, so i got to finish my yeah. writing, and hopefully you'll be able to see it. <laughs> I love that. Women making their own content. That's amazing. That's right. That's well, so right. nice to meet you, and happy Canada Day. Me too. Happy Canada Day. I love that you're wearing red. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you.